What's up, guys? We're back. Nice little Republic on the Xbox One. Right here, where we left off, we just found that holocron for uh, Vassal's mother. I don't know if we take it to her or not, but we got a fight waiting for us right outside this cave. So, let's do the slow walk. Now, nah, let's go. Yeah, let's go beat this guy. Here we go. At last, my search is over. I was beginning to fear someone else had killed you and deprived me of the pleasure. You may have defeated the pathetic bounty hunter my master sent after you, but you are no match for me. I have studied at the foot of the Dark Lord himself. Hmm. Here, Malik's apprentice can't say I'm impressed. You were on the Ender Spire. I'll kill you just like I killed Kalanor. Your words mean nothing to me. Haha. <laughs> unless you wish to beg for your life. No? Then I shall try to make this both quick and painful. There we go. Darth Bandon. Loser. So, um. So, I think we're gonna go for these guys first. Nope! Haha. <laughs> right? There we go. Switch. Yes. Three on one, you can't win. Not a chance. Get him. What the heck was that? Wow, we're just like, what the heck? What kind of force ability is that? Yo, he killed. There's no way I'm losing to this guy. Uh, dexterity seems what she's got. Okay, she doesn't need two weapon. Uh, I'll give her. Powers. Oh, what did I do? Now I need a med pack. Come on. There's no How can he That I I don't I don't get it. How much force crap does he have? She's almost dead again. Uh, you can use all of that. Look how high in the light side I am. Yo. I'm getting really mad at this game how much force power does this guy have okay why is it every time I switch to my guy it always looks way back there I'm about to die can you actually hit him Jeez! I swear to God. Oh, I would have. 
What was that beep? <laughs> I would have freaked out, completely freaked out, if he killed me. Like if Basla decided not to attack, which usually happens to me a lot. And then he gets an extra turn and kills me. I would have been so pissed. Sure. Oh man. Fiber armor. Fiber armor, what does that do? And then the Dark Jedi he had with him. Maybe he's We've got speeders here. Kalonord's crap still here. Well, let's take a look at his uh, fiber armor. Defense bonus 5. I wonder, does that like alter? Like, can you still do four? Oh, I guess you can't. Probably not enough force to do that, eh? It looks different. Different, yeah. What am I saying here? It looks pretty cool. I'll just put the. Jedi Master. Roll back on. Alright, now that we're done here. You know what? Yeah, Basil, get us back to. Uh, I guess I'll go take it to Basil's mother. Why not? See what'll happen. I was thinking just fast traveling back to the uh, the Ebon Hawk. Alright, let's get us. Oh, I'm still going fast. Still going fast. Oh, not anymore. Still going fast. Almost there. Slowly but surely. Wow, that's a long distance. That's truly a long distance. Alright, here we go. Sure. Alright, I got my guy. Force Aura. I'm curious if uh, that guy's armor could block certain force powers. Jawa. Cantina. Honestly, did not expect to see Malik's apprentice here. Back already? Have you even looked? For the holocron yet? I have the holocron, Mother. I'm just not sure I want to give it to you. And why not? Would you deny me even that? I've never denied you anything, Mother. You may think I don't remember what it was like before I left for the Order, but I do. You were the one who pushed Father to go on one treasure hunt after the other. You loved living in wealth. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the fights. You were eager to send me to the Jedi, even though I didn't want to go. You took Father away from me. And now this holocron is all I have of him. Fool girl. You have a strange way of remembering things. That wasn't... No, I don't wish to argue with you anymore, Mother. 
It's time we parted ways now, for both our benefit. Hey, you should listen to what she has to say. Do you really need the holocron? You're right, let's go. You don't know her. My mother is notoriously deceptive when she wants something. Why should she have the holocron? Is it too difficult to believe that I am a dying woman who simply wishes to see her husband one last time? I find it difficult to believe anything you say, mother. <sighs> Sounds like you've already made up your mind. Maybe one of you should be the first. We should go with Fork gets ugly. You're right. It shames me, but I just I find it difficult to let go of the past. I, I'm sorry, Mother. I was hard on you, dear. I wasn't a very good mother to you. I know that. There we go. Father loved you so. He wanted you to be just like him. He wanted to take you on his hunts, but I said they were too dangerous. Yeah, you let your husband go on these dangerous. I always tried to keep him from the dangerous ones, but he would have none of it. It was a reckless life we led. Always moving. I didn't want that for you. So that's why you gave me to the order. What do your father and I have to show for all those years of hunting? Nothing. That was no life for anyone. Especially not someone as gifted as you, your father. He spent all his last years trying to pay for my treatments. That's why he went for the pearls. I begged him not to, but your treatments. I'm dying, Bastila. I did not lie about that. It's been a long time in the coming, and there's really nothing that can be done anymore. I told your father to let me go, but you know how he was. Stubborn, like you. I'm so sorry, Mother. Oh, well. I don't know what to say. Keep the holocron, Bastila. It would do me good to know you have it. This talking to you. This is what I really needed before I... I know. Thank you. I'm glad we talked to you. Well, well, there we go. You said you had important business. And you were never one to mince words. Ah, you there. seems like we you saved the day again. My daughter. You hear me? Take care of my daughter, you hear me? As if she'd let me... I'm not. <laughs> That's good. I'll feel a lot better knowing there's someone to watch her. Where are you going to go? It doesn't matter, dear. Don't you worry about me. Here, take these 500 credits. It's all I have. Go to Coruscant and find a doctor. I'll meet you there after, after what I have to do. But I already told you there's nothing that can... Please take it. I want to see you again when we can talk. <sighs> all right, I will. You do what you have to, Bastila. You go hmm. make your father and I proud. Just gave away my money. Farewell, mother. Oh, never mind. I didn't. Oh, wait, what? Adrenal injury. Ah, it's completed. <sighs> How can I help? Yes, that brought me a lot of peace. More than I thought it would have. Thank you for urging me toward it. After all my training, I would have thought it would mm -hmm. be easier. Apparently, I still have much to learn. Oh, there we go. Isn't that nice? Let's get on the ship and get out of here. I'll just fast travel to the ship. There we go. Hey, get on the ship. There we are. Out of my way. Actually, you. Program spike. Oh, 
Oh. Bugger. Well, let's see if we can talk to her more. Help. I do. I've been trying to come up with the best way to say this for some time, but I suppose I should just come out and say it. The truth is, I have come to depend on you. Not just for the sake of the mission, but for my own sake as well. I am... I'm glad you're with us. What is that? I think I'm going to... Haha. <laughs> Well, yes. Surely that's not so surprising. Uh-uh. Did I? I am trying to be sincere here. It occurred to me that I may have been too critical of you. Too demanding at times. May have been. <laughs> too little... Uh, yeah. I know my manner can be a bit taciturn. I know you must be getting sick of my lectures about the dark side and, and everything else. I spent all my years being hounded by my instructors, being told so often how gifted and important I was until I was sick of it. I remember when I was younger, I used to swear that I would never become as self-absorbed and stodgy as the Jedi Masters. It's ironic, really. <laughs> uh, sure. That's kind of you to say, but... I know for myself it's not really true. Being controlled has kept everyone around me at an arm's length. Even those like yourself who are most in need of my understanding and compassion. Maybe it's time to change that. You deserve to know how much I respect and admire you. I had to tell you how much I care for you. As a friend, of course. Haha. <laughs> oh boy. I'm glad you did. We could be more than friends. Why not? Please, it's, it's not allowed. I have to remain true to the Jedi ideal. If this is going to cause a problem, maybe I, maybe I shouldn't have said anything. I see. Well, that was not nearly so difficult as I feared. Thank you for hearing me out. I feel, I feel much better. But enough soul searching for now. We should probably continue on with our mission. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, you as a person and a Jedi. Well, like I said, let's get to... Ooh. Korriban. Manan. Yeah, we'll go to Manon. Nice, peaceful flight. Oh boy, here we go. Another dream. Looks to be underwater. Of course, it's a water planet. Excellent, excellent. You felt it, yes? Oh. The vision? The force continues to work through us. 
showing us the star maps unearthed by Revenant Malak. It is yep. strange that anyone would have built a star map here. The entire surface of Manon is covered by nothing but vast oceans. The ocean floor is vast, and much of it is mm -hmm. uncharted, even by the native Selkarth. But how could Revan and Malak have found their way down? No doubt things will become more clear once we discover the star map's location. Lovely. Anything else you want to talk about? Am I so transparent? I suppose I shouldn't be surprised, considering our bond. Yes, there is something I would like to ask, if you'll permit it. Do I have... <laughs> Go ahead. In our time together, I've been watching you. You are our true servant of the light. You follow the tenets of the Jedi Order, despite the lore of the dark side. And with so little training, for me, it has always been a constant battle. Don't you find it difficult at all? You make it seem so easy. Or is that only an illusion? I just do what I think is right. And that's enough for you. If only it were as easy for me. If only the right path was always clear. I've always struggled for control over my passions. I've always been too quick to anger, too quick to get involved. My instructors constantly berated me for it. I've often dreamed that I might be able to confront Darth Malak myself. I dream I can use all hmm. the power I have to kill him and stop all the death and destruction. I just think about all the evil that the Sith have caused and I, I get so furious. Yet we are told that these feelings are the path. You've begun the path to the dark side. Your own demons. You saying you don't believe in the corruption of the dark side? I don't know. Would the power I use to kill Darth Malak be too tempting to keep using? Would I become the kind of evil I want to destroy? The very thought that I could become as evil as Malak, I just can't fathom it. It just doesn't seem possible. I mean, how could I... No. Wait, I'm sorry. I shouldn't even be asking you this. The Jedi teachings are clear. Who am I to question them? And even worse, who am I to try and make you question them? These are dangerous thoughts. The indulgence of a vain mind. Please. Forget I ever mentioned this. Let's just return to our mission. We'll talk again. Oh. I wish I could help you with that. Well, how can that's I help? No help at all. I wish I could help you. Not a help. Uh, the dark side. Well, that would be very unfortunate. Next in Epic Hawk. And you know what, guys? Next episode, that's what that's gonna be. The next episode, we're gonna step foot on Manan. Make sure y'all catch that next episode. It'll be on the water planet. Hope you all enjoyed this video. Drop a like you enjoy. Subscribe for more. Catch you on the next video. Peace out, everybody.